Hello. So another one is about how everything is connected. But this is on a different level than what I've said before. So this is kind of showing the connection of thoughts and mind and, and body and spirit. And uh, but just in a different kind of way. So the way that society has taught people to live nowadays is to see all of these physical things as being something that's external from them. Doctors try to say that the only way to fix problems in the mind and body are through medication or through physical means of doing things or taking things or, you know, physically doing something to the body in order to be able to, to heal it. But now what's starting to be understood is that things are all connected. So when we realize that we can actually use that information or that knowledge to heal ourselves and we can use that to like, it's, and it's more than just heal yourself too. It's like, you can tap into serious states of consciousness through this because it's, it's literally like there's, there's this connection there that is deeper than what has been let on. There's this connection where we're all literally a part of the same mind you know we're all part of this mind of god and there's there's a deep deep seated connection there and through that connection which is spirit uh we can find all of these kind of answers to everything that we've wanted that we haven't been able to really even understand because there are and i know this is just off topic or whatever but this is like this is going kind of into the whole thing of understanding how society has kind of pushed people into believing a specific kind of agenda when reality is completely different from what because if you think about it like this right you've been you've been raised since a baby what to first of all to think that there's no such thing as past lives to think that there's no such thing as as um like spirit in a way like they basically like shown that this physical world what you see and feel with your five senses and your eyes are what is real and um while you believe that that's all you see you see like so that's how they easily can keep you into a low vibrational frequency and a controllable frequency is by giving you a storyline and once you are like basically a part of that storyline then it's very hard for you to break out of it because your mind gets used to seeing things in a specific way and it gets scared when it starts to see things in a different way and when you start to realize how actually unlimited we are then you start to get to a point where you're like oh my gosh there i see the reasons why people were under like wraps so bad and it's not like it's acceptable that that's been what's going on but it's understood because this is a level of consciousness that is something that it seems as though if, if it were accessed by a lot of the less developed people on this planet, it would really cause some issues because uh, these people would try to use this information in order to attack other people instead of to help other people, you know? So it's important that we get to this point where where we see that our connection runs deeper than what we've been shown and that if you just take the time to go into that and you take the time to look into the things that you've been told as opposed to the things that have been shown to you meaning like the things that you've experienced versus the things that you've been told right and you start to see how different they really are and how you start to see how if you start to really dive into your experience and you start to really only believe the things that you see or feel or hear but like it's the it's not the things that you see or feel or hear it's the things that you experience so with it that that will put you in a space where you can start to experience more more mir miraculous things because when you're in a state of when you're in a state of constant analyzation of everything in order to be able to put it into a storyline which you've kept for your entire life, you can never really expand very well, you know? So like once you once you allow yourself to kind of break out of that, that kind of storyline, you start to just, by break out, I don't even mean 
seeing in a different way. I mean, literally just seeing everything that's in front of you for what it is. So like, instead of looking at something and be like, oh, okay, that's a tree and this is, this is a vine and like all this other stuff, you know, instead of labeling it with your previous assumptions, you just look at it and you just see it. You just see it for what it is, which is just an object in consciousness. But you start to see that that object is no different from your hand. You see, it's like you can hold your hand out and you can look at your hand and you can look at the tree and you look back at your hand and you can look back at the tree and you can see there's no difference between your hand and the tree because your perception is what's showing, like the only thing that has shown you that there's a difference between your hand and that tree is the fact that you've told yourself that there's a difference between your hand and that tree. But otherwise, like if you look at it from this perspective, right? If you look at this, there's a hand and there's a tree, but in reality, there's just one scene in total. You see? So like, it's, it's, it's hard to explain because it's something that, ha it's, a, it's a realization that brings you into a completely different state of consciousness. But the whole realization is that these things may look separate, but they're all part of the same thing. You see, like, like it's all a part of my consciousness. So like I'm, I'm experiencing this experience and my consciousness isn't even my consciousness. It's just consciousness. That's all it is. But there's this experience that I'm experiencing where there are these things that they look like they're separate from me and they look like they're all around. But in reality, it's all, it's all in consciousness. So like the same way that, that in a dream, when you become lucid in a dream, you realize that it's you who's dreaming this dream and it's your dream that you've been having, right? And you start to see that the dreamer and the dream are not separated from each other. There's no difference between the dreamer and the dream because the dreamer is the dream. And the dream, like the one who is dreaming the dream is the dream itself. You see, so like there's no difference between them. Um, it's the same thing with reality too. Like the things that we're experiencing in reality and the things that we are is no difference. Like there's like, like whatever is in your environment that you see, feel, hear, and like everything that you experience, it's not even like, don't, don't disregard all of the, the, the words of like see, feel, and hear. It's the experience, the experience. Everything that you experience in your reality is you because it's all in your consciousness. You see? And then that consciousness that is the your consciousness, everybody else is a part of that same consciousness. You see? And that's how we're all connected. But that's not saying that, that you're the only one who exists in a way. That's more, I mean, it is, but it's not at the same time because it, these, these other reflections are just as real as you are. So like all of these other reflections, like they have their own thing going on as well. And they're just as much God as you are, you see? So even though this is my experience and I'm experiencing and I can choose what I want to experience like mentally, physically, and emotionally and all this stuff, like that doesn't, that doesn't mean that, that doesn't mean that I'm special or, or different in any way. That just means that I've come to this realization and a lot of other people have just yet to understand that, you know? And that's because they've been, most of them have been repressed by society and they've been taught to uh, be scared of a realization like that or to not ever believe it if, if it was even suggested, you know? And that's something that kind of sucks. Uh, but I see why it was done, you know? So it's not like it's a bad thing because there's really no good or bad. But at the same time, it's time for everybody to wake up now. And it's time for everybody to get to this, this kind of understanding of of love and understanding of unity and this understanding that the, this experience that we're having is an experience of love and it's not this isn't something that we're trying to compete with anybody else for because everybody else is the same experience that we're experiencing you know so like whatever we experience for ourselves is something that is going to be shared with everybody else and if we love ourselves then the only way to truly love yourself is to show love for everything. Not just everyone, but everything. Every single thing that's ever, like, that's in existence. That's the only way to truly love yourself. Because you are a part of everything in existence. So if you don't love everything else, then you're really missing out on a part of yourself, you know? 
and that may be hard to understand for some people but that's really the truth of it you know you have to <laughs> there's no way to love yourself without without loving everything else um and you are intimately connected with everything else in this universe and there really is no difference between me and this ground or me and that tree or me and that bug that just flew in my eye you know like there's really no no difference between all of them um we're all one but as we're having this experience we can still pretend to be separated and uh, through that we can learn a bunch of stuff and we can evolve our consciousness and we can move into a new state and we can bring this planet into a new vibrational frequency where it it can house the love that it was just that it was meant to house the whole time you know so that was just a really quick one uh, i hope you guys have a really good day good day